Hey guys, home setting on the hill here. I wanted to do a quick video on strawberries before I uh, root all these. They have got completely out of control. If you can see, this is one of, I've got three or four strawberry beds. This is one of them. Um, I'm actually going to take everything that they're in here, all these cinder blocks and this wood stump and put it on a hill. But before I do that, I need to catch all these runners. So if you can see, they, they just run off like crazy. I'm going to demonstrate how to cup these real quick um, and get them to root. And then you have your own, uh, or you have new, rather, strawberries. Now, the rules that they will tell you is that you're supposed to keep these runners. Another easy way to do it is to just stick them right back into the pot. Okay, so they'll run off like this and see as soon as they touch the dirt, they'll root. So I just kind of wind them back up into the dirt box that they're in. And you've still got another one that comes off. That's the same one that I just stuck in. And then I'll just stick that one in there too. So, But eventually your box gets crowded and you can't keep doing that. Um, you don't have to do that as long as you separate your mother plant. So these are the babies. The mother plant spits off the runners. Um, they'll tell you that you have to kill the mother plant and keep the babies. But if you separate them, then you send it into a dormant state and it thinks that it's a baby so it starts producing all over again you just got to be smarter than the strawberry plant uh, that's a lot of confusion around that i've had these for years so uh like i said they spit off and they root you want to catch them before they do that okay that one was just in there a little bit get you a cup anything we'll use these are this is great for yogurt containers because that's what you can use uh instead of throwing them away and you just stick it down there. I like using a clothes pin just to hold it. Use the end of the clothes pin and hold it in there. And in two days, you'll have a new strawberry plant. This is another runner off of that one. You can do the same thing again. Um, and as you see, all of these here. So let's go over to the other side. I'm limited on time here. I think I've got a bigger one over here that's already started to root. So these are also running off down into the flowers and the herbs here. There's a fairly good size one here. Now see, so even when they, they aren't in the ground, they're still rooting. They, they want you to catch them, you know, and if you can't twist them back up, like I said, and put them in there, this is your next best option. And again, right down in there, right down into the cup, or whatever you're using, you use a clothespin just to hold it in. Okay, you don't want to break the stem. And there you have it, another one. And like I said, here's the other runner off of that one, so we'll demonstrate two here. This is the same runner. I've got one pinned. Here's the one on the end. Pin it. And there you go. So you can either plant them yourself. By the way, once they root, you can just clip this. Clip it right off here, clip it right off there, and you've got two separate plants. You can give them away, replant them, sell them at your local farmer's market, whatever, whatever you choose to do. But strawberries are one of the best investments you can, you can get, you can put into, uh, because they come back every year. So there you have it. Happy homesteading.